What's up everybody and welcome back to another math puzzle. In this one, the question is as follows. Only numbers one, two, three, four, and five can be used to get the red numbers with the blue operations with one instance of each number per row and column. So just to give you a little context, this is kind of like Sudoku, right? If I have a one here, I can't have another one here or here in the same row or column and everything is gonna be one, two, three, four or five and then just to give a little bit more context here since these two numbers are in the 15 multiplication box they need to multiply to 15 of course four and five don't do that so this is what you have to set out to solve hit that pause button and see if you can figure it out when you're ready hit play and i'll give you the explanation So the first place to start is in these boxes where it's just a single number, meaning there's no operations going on. The number is gonna be four. So I'm gonna place a four here and a one here. Next, we're gonna look at this 15. Now, 15 via multiplication can be three times five, but I don't know whether a three goes here or here. So we're gonna say we've got either a three or a five in these two boxes. Next over here, I have two numbers subtracting to get four. Well, that can only be five and one in this subset. So I'll put, five, one, five, one like this. Cause again, I don't know which one goes where. Now, since I know that a five has to be in this column, right? It's gotta be in one of these two spots. I know that we can only have one five per column, which means this spot has to be three. So with this spot being three, this spot is five. Next, we're gonna go over here. And since we know we have three, four, and five, we've only got one and two left as options for these two spots in this row. Since I have a one here, this one cannot be one. So this one has to be two, which makes this spot on the left have to be one. Now we'll look at these three numbers that multiply to get to 15. So what three numbers might multiply to get 15? It'll only be one, three, and five. It's gotta be those three with this subset of numbers. Since there's a one here, the one has to go here. In these spots, we've got three or five, like so. Well, if a one has to go here, that means this spot cannot be one, it has to be five. And if this spot is five, this spot is one. Now going back to over here, if this is a five, this cannot be a five, this has to be a three. And with this being a three, this has to be five. So check it out. Now I know that I've got four numbers in this column. The fifth one has to be the missing number, which is four, so that's excellent. We've also got something up here that's solvable. I've got a one and a two multiplying to eight. So two, one times two is two, two times one is eight. We need a four here. This also means that this spot has to be a two because we've got one instance of each in this column. Now I wanna refocus back on four times what is gonna give us 20. Well, the only options in this case is gonna be five and one. One times four times five is 20. Since I already have a one here, the five has to go here and the one has to go here. Next, we've got division happening to get a two. So we only got two possibilities, two divided by one, but the one's already here, so that's out. Or we can have four divided by two. So that's what it's gotta be since I have a four up here, the four has to go here and the two has to go up top. Once again, I've got four numbers in this row. So the missing number has to be that missing three like so. And then what plus three is gonna give me 10? That's gonna be seven composed of a five and a two. Since I have a five up here, it's gotta be a two here and the five down the row. Next, we have two numbers that add to five. And since it's gotta be two and three because that's all that's left in this row, and there's a two here, the two's gotta go here and the three's gotta go here. Finally, we've got these last two spots in this column, one, two, four, and five, meaning it's gotta be three here. And we got one, two, three, and five, meaning it's gotta be four here. And just to double check, two plus three plus four is indeed nine. I hope you enjoyed this puzzle. And if you did, please click that like button. And if you wanna see more math puzzles on the regular, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.